So many people are getting lured on RuneScape for thousands of US dollars worth of RuneScape gold. I'm getting multiple emails a week from people each losing billions of GP. So it's time to investigate what's going on again. This time, I'm gonna try to get the lurers in a Discord call with me so that I can troll them with a voice changer while they expose all of these lures that unfortunately have been so successful recently. Let's start with a tip off from a guy that says he was approached by someone else who wanted to teach him how to do next or the theater of blood and then told him to use a plugin on an open source OSRS client, which is bannable by Jagex by the way, and we'll get to that later. When he used the plugin, he lost control of his screen and was logged into a PvP world with all of his items, losing billions of GP. The Predator asked if he wanted to scout other people to be lured, and thankfully this guy played along, which is where I come in. He's going to recommend the lurer tries to lure me, a newbie player who wants to learn Theater of Blood and has 1 billion GP ready to be stolen. I'm on an alt account and I've renamed it to Derp Dad. I also made a new Discord named Derp Dad to match. But I actually don't have enough GP to be rich enough for these lurers to want to lure me. So Zulu, the streamer and content creator, Creator offered to loan me a billion GP. Which in hindsight was very, very nice of him because what if the lurers trick me? Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Happy to help with your uh, your content. So the guy who tipped me off told the lurer he had scouted me, Derp Dad, and I had about a 1 billion GP bank, so I gave the username Derp Dad to the guy who tipped me off to relay to the scammer. The scammer thinks that I want to learn T.O.B. and that the guy he lured told me the scammer is a great teacher. He then proceeds to add me in game and PM me his Discord. I think it's a great time to make sure ExpressVPN's turned on. Why am I doing that? Well first and foremost, there are ways of pulling someone's IP address on the internet. Like if someone sent me a sketchy link on Discord and I clicked it. But ExpressVPN masks my IP address, meaning it won't be exposed. In fact, when I turn ExpressVPN on, it'll protect me from repeated DDoS attacks which are unfortunately common in the RuneScape community. Also when it's on, all of my data is encrypted and rerouted through an ExpressVPN server. ExpressVPN offers hundreds of servers across dozens of countries for you to connect to, keeping your data away from prying eyes. Connecting to a server is incredibly easy. You literally just select the server you want to connect to and hit the power button. In my experience, it takes between three to five seconds to connect, and all of a sudden you're protected. ExpressVPN servers are also consistently faster than other VPN providers. They not only invest in premium servers, but they actually develop their own open source protocol called Lightway. So find out how you can get three months for free by clicking the link in the description or going to www.expressvpn.com slash surpugger. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I'm just gonna fall for the bait. This is so interesting. He sent me a screenshot of TOB with TOB helper saying, but my mouse is playing games. He didn't mention anything about the plugin. This is super subtle. It's Runelite Plus, normal Runelite. I don't know, you have to look. I haven't used it in forever. Just a heads up, this is not Runelite whatsoever. None of these plugins that can scam you are available on Runelite. He's trying to pretend like the plugin part or the client part means nothing to him. He doesn't even remember which one it is, but that's not true. The whole scam revolves around this. Since I asked about the plugin, he starts telling me about this open source client. I should totally download it, it'll help me learn. He's sending me perfect screenshots with arrows pointing to everything I need to do to install this plugin. And then at the same time, we both kind of say, hey, why don't we hop on a call? Couple things. One, uh, I had been playing with the voice changer right before this call and I forgot to put it back on its original setting. My voice is like obviously changed in this. He caught on pretty quickly. I'm gonna get him to call. Ha 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 ha. How's it going? The other thing is I can't record someone's voice and upload it for commercial purposes without their express consent. So I can't play you his voice, but I can tell you what he said. Jeez, what? He showed me how he had 3,500 TOB KC. He was even screen sharing with me, showing me entry mode basically giving me tutorials about the theater of blood. All the while, he had the plugin open on the right, showing me how useful it was and pointing it out every once in a while, like, oh, just avoid these colored tiles. Oh, I see why the tile markers are so helpful. Wow, this plugin is so pog. I think it was right about there where he knew I was trolling. <laughs> but that's also when he sent me over three plugins. They're all .jar files. This was a super tricky part of the conversation. I needed to basically tell him that I knew, but I didn't want him to immediately leave the Discord call, so you'll see what angle I take. And OSRS takes a while to load. Is there like, um, 
a guide for this plugin online. I needed a way of discovering that it was a malicious plugin, and I knew there were YouTube videos that had been posted about it. When I mentioned if there was a YouTube tutorial, he was like, no, 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 there's not, because he also knew about these videos. Arrest TOB helper. Arrest TOB helper, Cox helper, lure. What is this? What is that? Just gotta be careful with random plugins, you know? Listen, um, I'm, uh, looking at this plugin. It doesn't look safe. I'm just looking at the code. It's like, um, it's not really coded how I'd expect. It looks like this plugin, uh, does some funky stuff. Listen, can I join you? I asked to join him in hopes he doesn't immediately hang up. He responds by saying he knew I was a bait the whole time because my voice changer is so obvious. But he said if I turn the voice changer off, we could totally have a conversation. So I did. All right. I'll take it off. What's up, can you hear me? It's my real voice. If I wanted him to stay on the call, I needed to get out of this. He had told me that he got lured, but then didn't like mention anything about it. But then he, and I don't know him well, but then he randomly reached out and was like, oh, I know a guy who will teach you TOB and like red flags. Cause it's like, what a day later he messages me after he got lured, oh, all of a sudden like, I can introduce you to this guy who knows Theater of Blood, and it's like a super sick client and stuff, and I was like, this seems sus. I kind of wanted to see if I could, you know, help out, but I didn't think you'd just, you know, from a cold DM say yes. Luckily, he bought it and told me a lot of stuff. Let me summarize what he said very quickly. He says he and his partner, he usually does it with someone else, each make 1,000 US dollars a day. They make between eight to 10 bill a day doing this. The plugin doesn't just hop you to a PVP world. It's able to scrape both your username and password. It's programmed to take out the 28 most valuable items in your bank and then hop to a PVP world where they'll kill you for all of your items. This guy says most of the people he lures lose at least three to four bill and they quit the game. But if they don't quit the game, he'll wait a while and then log back into their account to take their loot. He even told me a story of someone who had put a bank pin on when he tried to log back in, so he requested to reset the pin, which takes a few days, and then knew a bot script that would get the account a temporary ban, so that as soon as the account was unbanned, the pin would be dropped, aka the player was helpless to get back into his account before the pin was gone. So if they were to, to rebuild, you could go back and hack them? It's truly diabolical. So this is also a public service announcement. If you have been scammed by these guys, your account is definitely not safe. We ended the call amicably and I said, I actually probably just couldn't live with myself doing this to other people now that I thought about it. That was a little dark. Let's make the mood a little bit more lighthearted with some singing. So what's next actually happened before I talked to this other lurer, because as soon as I bought the gear to bait these guys, other luring groups were approaching me at the Grand Exchange. Oh my god, I'm setting up this boy's changer. And this dude is literally, literally, edition one is trading me. He wanted me to buy him 13k flax. Okay, let's buy him 13,000 flax. So he's giving me 150k more than the value, I'm guessing, to gain my trust. Let's look this guy up. I wonder how good his account is. I'm sure it's fantastic. Oh my god. All of these guys use like the most maxed out accounts. 400 million XP account right here. Within 30 seconds of addition one talking to me, another account comes up and starts trading me. He shows me 11 mil worth of stuff, nothing crazy. And this is a classic luring script. You wear for a Pharaoh video, I give free. It makes absolutely no sense. But in fact, addition one is in on it and tells me he anti-scammed 10 mil from them. This is the start of an hour of me finding out every trick in the book they try to use to steal your stuff. Edition one says to play along and I get a games necklace and they take me to the rogue's den. This player is giving me Zami brews to brew down to low HP and wants me to show him how fast I can wear full iron armor as a demo outfit. So without any valuable items, I hop into the high risk PVP world. And let's just be frank. This might be the dumbest lure of all time. He's straight up just like, okay, we're in a safe zone, so take out your best gear for the video. Quite clearly, we're not in a safe zone. He's like, right by the bank, it's safe. And 
It's just not. I do get how someone might fall for it because you've got edition one, the max player being like, it's fine, just don't equip the scepter when he trades you it. At this point, I wanna get on a call with edition one. I know he's a lurer and I wanna test out my voice changer. He said, sure. Oh my God, I'm gonna talk to him. Derp dad. Hashtag one, three, one, six. Hey. Once again, I can't play his audio, but this is probably a burner discord and fake profile picture. Good, how are you? So he's he's like standing next to the bank. He wants me to trade him. One sec, he keeps talking. Wait, but he keeps saying, so I'm in the safe zone now, right? He says yes, but kind of in a sad way, like he knows I know. But it doesn't say protected. It's like a skulled icon. Like I'm I'm not in a safe zone right now. I could, you know what I mean? The trick didn't work, but addition one on the Discord call immediately transitions to a different lure. He tells me to tell the scammers that we're not in a safe zone, and they tell me to go to Varrock East Bank instead. In the meantime, I try to develop a rapport with the lurer in the Discord call. I ask him where he's from. So, uh, where are you from? Gas him up about his high-level account. Nice account, by the way. I just looked you up. You're max. Anyway, this is the classic start to a long con. Edition 1 explains the lure were anti-luring and that I'm gonna pick up some items. Of course, this is not the real lure. Oh yeah, I can totally stand right there. Alright, what world are you gonna hop into? 390. Okay, I'm in position. My heart's pounding. I'm logging in. I'm spam clicking. I've literally been in this position before while baiting lurers, and I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna drop one of the valuable spirit shields one tile away from where they're dropping really low value stuff for me to pick up. Except I don't know which direction they're gonna go, so I'm probably not gonna get it, but I wanna try at least. I was actually so close. I definitely could have gotten it if I knew which direction the account dropping items was gonna go. And addition one on the Discord call actually kind of slipped up and said, did you actually get it? Because I think he thought I actually picked up the spirit shield. We're about halfway through the lure and I decided to turn the tables on him a little bit. What if, um, man, I know they're scumbags, but maybe we could start luring people. I mean, if they're dumb enough to do it, why don't we take advantage of them? So I feel like you probably know how the lures work like pretty well. So like I could help you lure someone like if you know how to like, I don't really know how to do it, but I could be like your assistant or something and I'll drop like items for people. I had to cut out a lot of the audio, but addition one was like dying laughing in between me talking here. What he doesn't know is I'm actually luring him into showing me all of his tricks. I gotta say, this is fun. Now addition one tells me we need to find other lurers to anti-lure and we'll switch roles. He'll be the one trying to pick up the valuables this time. Very quickly, we get fake scouted by the same luring group on different accounts. And while we're going through this really boring process again, I just start acting more kind of derpy and trolling him. There's another one that showed up. Dragon Hunter Crossbow and 3rd Age Play Body again. <laughs> it's funny because he's a lurer and giving me a mostly harmless teleport. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's just too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes off of you. Oh, I haven't done Cabin Fever. I can't use the teleport. I'm a noob. It's just too good to be true. I literally sang this line maybe 10 different times throughout this lure, and at no point did they catch on. Anyway, just because so many people are getting lured, I'm just gonna remind you what this lure is about. They take me to Canifis Bank now, and I'm the one who's supposed to telegrab. They show, but don't give me telegrab runes, and then they want me to take all my stuff out, and then they'd ask me to trade the guy for the telegrab runes again. If I trade the guy, I will be pushed into the danger zone. There are like 10 different variations of this lure. Moral of the story, do not take your items out at this point. Don't even get to this point. Don't even initiate with them. I didn't even bring my items out and I told Edition 1 on the call that I wasn't gonna do it. I'm, I mean like, I'm not gonna take my items out, but don't they have like stalls? It definitely doesn't seem safe. I don't know. It's just too good to be true. Can't keep my eyes off of you. 
And this surprised me. They kept trying to lure me. Maybe they thought I was high or something, but they took me to the cooking guild now. And it's the same lure, the same group. They don't even try to switch up the groups. And it's even the same script. Oh, you see where I'm gonna drop, you're gonna telegrab, etc. And this lure, they're just trying to trick me in the trade window to take the telegrab runes. They tell me to show the items and then accept the telegrab runes. And I kind of bait them a bit here because I do accept the first trade screen. That's crazy. Now take the runes. Should I accept the trade for the runes? Edition one's in the background going like, yeah, just take the runes, let's go. Oh, my stuff's in the trade. That was close. I'm stupid. Wait, I need runes. Jeez, that was so close. They're so frustrated at this point. We've been on a call for over an hour. This is like the third lure attempt they've tried on me. They have one last ditch attempt to get my items. They basically just tell me to hop back to the high risk PVP world in the cooking guild. It's not safe in a PVP world, is it? And then addition one shows me a clip of the cooking guild being in a safe zone. This clip is edited. It's not a safe zone. Oh wait, yeah, you sent me a video of it. At this point, I'm trying to stall so that I can bank my items. Okay, I gotta use the bathroom really quick, and then let's do this thing. Okay, wait, I'll just hold it. It's too important. I guess, but like, we could make them drop more stuff if we both showed them stuff. He doesn't seem that smart, I mean. Alright, I'm hopping to 548. <sighs> oh. Bro. It's not safe. I have all my items. And that's it. I was insta unfriended on Discord. They deleted me in game because it was just too obvious that Edition 1 was trying to lure me. Like the video, subscribe, and stop falling for this stuff.